Welcome back to a very short episode of Steve's Project Car Garage. My name is Steve. Today I'm unboxing a package that just arrived to me from UPS, and I'm super excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. All right, so quick story. Um, for the last I don't know, a couple of months or so, I've been really kind of figuring out what I wanted to do with uh, my fuel system. Right now it's got the Zena Stromberg uh, 175, for, or it's a 150, yeah, 150 CDSE carburetor and uh, I rebuilt it back before I started the channel and I uh, tried to run it and it just it, it ran like crap so asking around what some of the best carburetors were everyone was saying Weber or going with a pair of SU's well a pair of SU's the HS2's are you know 12 1300 bucks refinished refurbished or new and I couldn't really swing that so um, I put a post out on the Triumph experience asking folks you know if anybody had any available and uh, Kyle, one of the members, uh, jumped up and said, "Hey, yeah, I've got a, I got a set." So he hooked me up with this set for uh, about two hundred bucks. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and crack this open, take a look at it, and uh, see what we got. All right. So I have not opened this yet, other than just cracking open the tape. I was kind of surprised by it because this actually comes with the. Uh, um, air box as well and I figured it would have been a lot larger but uh here we go let's see let's see what we got okay oh yeah Very cool. I've never worked on these carburetors before, so this is gonna be all new to me. I've seen plenty of pictures of them though. That's fantastic. So this is like, this is the float bowl, or the fuel clocks, and this is the actual carburetor itself. And it's the CV carburetor, so it's constant velocity. And if I'm wrong on that, please correct me, but essentially there's just this, this damper in here that just opens and closes as the uh, vacuum is created and this raises and lowers a, a metering needle, which is on the inside here. I don't know if you can see that or not. This is a dash pot. Essentially, the dash pot gets filled with oil, and it helps with the dampering of the uh, actual piston that's inside of here. So we have one. We have two. Nice, beautiful movement on that. These even have the original tags on them. That's awesome. That's something that my Xena Strombergs did not have. You have the uh, manifold. Now, uh, Kyle did inform me that this manifold had been welded, so it looks like at some point or another, I'm guessing that this cracked or was damaged, but since been welded back up, and I mean, honestly, that's a pretty clean weld. Looks pretty decent, so I'm... Probably just going to clean this up a little bit before, you know, when I do the rebuild, but uh, all in all, it's nice. Got spacers here. Someone told me, too, that these spacers are actually made out of asbestos, although this one looks like it's, like, made out of, like, an MDF or something. Uh, but anyways, you can't get the spacers, but this is pretty cool. have the uh, throttle linkages that will link the two carburetors together. Looks like we got a, a chunk of, uh, I guess that's airline, could be fuel line. Yep, yeah, it is fuel holes. Cool. Thank you, Kyle. And uh, now we have the uh, Airbox. So let's take a look at this guy. Kyle said that the airbox itself had already been painted, so I'm sure it probably is in nice shape. Oh yeah, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Kyle. I appreciate you uh, helping me out with finding these. Again, I feel that like 200 bucks was a great deal on these considering 
the fact that they need to be rebuilt and I was kind of looking for a rebuild project anyways just right along with the rest of this project so uh yeah I'm pretty happy excited to get these things finished up and cool there we go that's what it looks like when it's uh mounted on the manifold pretty dang snazzy I'm really excited about this I can't wait to rebuild these guys but uh honestly these are gonna end up waiting I just uh Started getting the itch, and I figured that I, I should buy these before they become unobtainium. So, there we go. All right, awesome. That's it. Um, so, just a quick little video. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So, uh, thank you, Kyle, for the hookup on those. Um, and everybody else also, too, that uh, came out and said, that, hey, you know, you got a pair of HS2s. So I, I really do appreciate it. Um, this community is fantastic, and there's been a lot of awesome folks who have offered to try to help we with, with trying to get a pair. Um, and this one just happened to fit my needs with the manifold and everything. And it was just the right level of crusty that I wanted to go ahead and do a restoration on them. So again, thank you everyone. And, uh, yes, again, if you haven't done so already, of course, you know, the drill, hit the subscribe button, click the bell, get those post notifications. Of course, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this kind of content. And remember when you're working on your classic cars, don't be the dreaded previous owner. Cheers.